Oxford University, right? So you got the skull and bones and the scroll and key working together to undermine us by giving us the false impression that we came over here from Africa on ships. But all of my pan-African brothers I talk to from on the other side of the water say, nigga, y'all not from over here. Y'all organic over there. Y'all from over there. Right? And then there was something that was always... I didn't know how to explain it. I knew it, but I didn't know how to tell y'all who did what, when they did it. Now we got all this shit documented. Right? And um, for the record, I'm not the master teacher. The master teacher is Malachi Z. York. I'm the master student. I'm not the master teacher. There's a big difference. I have not put out half the books that man put out, and I have not had half the following that that man, he's a master teacher undisputed, right? The master orator, the master speaker is Farrakhan, right? So um, we all in this shit together, whether we want to be or not, whether you nation of Islam whether you the more science temple proper under Noble Jew Ali proper, I say proper because they were usurped. But if you don't know where the usurpation took place, then just don't say nothing and watch your righteous Moorish brothers when they start to clean house under the direction of Chief Malik Angel Bay. It's not personal. Y'all have to clean house, Moors. Y'all got infiltrators, Moors. Uh, Farrakhan already did, doing it to the nation in real time. They cleaning the house, right? They got all of the motherfucking OGs on the West Coast waiting on the rest of us, right? All of the chiefs on the land are united. Dr. Delbert Blair is one of my teachers. The Meta Center, Chicago, right? So um, all of this stuff is critical for y'all to get in, in, get into the game of what's really taking place. The shit is over. Message to Canaan land moors. If you are righteous more, I'm not talking about you. All of this shit I'm talking about is the ones who came and come to y'all services and stand next to y'all with a fez on, plotting your own demise. He's standing next to you and he's in your moorish service and he's plotting to take everything you ever deserve by birthright. He's, a, he's an imposter, a Jacobin, a fake Jew, and he going to tell you that I'm crazy. I don't have a problem with Moors. I have a problem with dirty Moors. I don't pick on people, but when they pick on me, I will respond if I think that they have malice. The only reason why I haven't responded maliciously to the Moorish involvement in what I'm doing is because I know the righteous Moors had a job to do. And their job entailed them to knock the motherfucking dirty Moor for its feds. So if you a righteous Moor and you got your feds and you went head to head in information and knowledge within the temple and you defeated a dirty Moor, I love you to death. I love you to death. You was able to overcome the enemy. That's our. That's what we were supposed to do. We not all Moors like they telling us. Moors is a catch term, a secondary term that groups us all together. Right? And they wanted to group us all together because they said in 200 years that the chiefs of the land won't know the Moors, the dirty Moors. Priest. And, and, and shamans, and not everybody is meant to be the old lady in the woods that you come and knock on the and she open and she's a seer with, with all kind of shit in her cabin. It's the reason for that. We the ones who help to keep society in a balance. But what happens when the people that are supposed to keep society in a balance start to corrupt it? Start to lead you astray. So you got to get that, that see when you do the shadow work you already didn't have confronted all of that same shit that they coming to you with in yourself. Right? So you didn't cleaned up so much shit doing the shadow work that when they come with the bullshit, you, your instinct gonna kick in. You're gonna hear Big Mama in the back of your head say, that bitch can't do that shit. She can't do that. She not authorized to do that. She, who, 
who gave her her ephah hand? Right? She ain't no better than these bootleg Baba Laos from Nigeria. They be hustling motherfuckers. In the inbox. In your inbox. Mm -hmm. Fucking it, it up for the real they, one. If That's a it. real Baba Law is not coming to you, if a motherfucker come in your inbox and tell you they a Baba Law, that's a goddamn lie. A hmm. real Baba Law is going to be at his motherfucking place of uh, a practice, practicing, doing his spiritual work, and you have to go find that motherfucker. Yes, sir. You, he ain't going to be popping up in your inbox talking about, um, do you need me to do some money rituals for you? Facts. See, they take that um, poverty mindset and capitalize on it by telling you they can do a ritual to get you money for a fee. Bible laws don't operate like that. Yep. You know? So when they come with that bullshit, tell them kiss your ass. Block their ass. Banish them. Banish their ass. You know what I'm saying? And that's some real shit, man. You got to really, you got to really have discernment, y'all. And you got to really start seeing through these people. You know, we, we coming into an age where you're going to be more easily able to see these people, but you got to, like, like our brother said, do the shadow work. You have to do, do the shadow work so that when you see it, you have the inner courage to act on it and do what's right. And that you're not just wanting to be, um, under somebody just to be led just for them to lead you astray because that's what happened most people don't want leadership positions because of what happened to leaders but leaders are not made they born right and life is going to make sure that it teaches them enough lessons by the time they become an elder where they can give you the information they can tell you don't listen to that bullshit Go back to your motherfucking family first. Ask your elders in your fucking family where y'all from. Most of our elders, they don't say it outright that you are native to this land. They tell it to us like this. Well, we got Indian in our blood. My granddaddy was the Cherokee or Iroquois or Choctaw. We was Blackfoot on my grandmama's side. They telling you who the fuck you is. You and, don't believe what the what what the system tell you over your family what they already been knowing for hundreds of thousands of years. And 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 that's another thing I tell people. Everybody, like like our brother said, we from the earth, yo. We our people was everywhere. You you understand? So everybody's everybody's makeup is going to be different from the next person. Everybody where everybody came is going to have a different makeup it's going to have a different things on their origins or where they get how they got here you know what i'm saying and when you start to understand this you can dig into you instead of you know going with some hebrew hershey like stuff or whatever just because a doctor said it or somebody came smooth talking you go actually dig in you know because there's a lot of confusion especially like i see with like hebrew israelite communities and things like that where it starts to get loopy. Do your own due diligence, y'all. Do your and some people have makeups of different places. You know what I'm saying? Like some people have ties to different parts of the world. You get what I'm saying? Like somebody could have had Native American in their bloodline and have a claim to the land. And at the same time, they could have bloodlines that came from other parts of the world that added to who they are today. It's, this is a lot of years. That got you here, motherfucker. Not just a couple people. It's a lot of people that ended up for you to get where you at. So understand, y'all have to really dive into yourself. That's really what we're telling y'all. And allow those that are trusted in your life to help you along that journey. But ultimately, you got to walk because you got the two feet. I can't move your motherfucking feet. Rod Hayes cannot move your feet. And just walk like you a robot. You got to move your own feet. And use your own fucking brain. And believe in yourself. And things that the ancestors will bring you. To know who you are. But yes. people. Hold up. Somebody said something real key. Vampires. 
energy vampires, yo. Yeah. But how does it work? This is how it works. I see King Brew over here doing this thing, right? I need to get in on that because he's making a whole bunch of people listen. I don't have anything better than what you have to offer. So all I can do is suck from you what you offering and regurgitate it like I came up with it. Right? I just stole your energy. Right? You don't want to put in the work to get your e hand. Right? You the one had to go through your initiation rites. So here these motherfuckers come pretending. We all know when we when they come with the bullshit, our first man say, this is some bullshit. And you know what we do? Ignore it. <laughs> you know why we ignore it? Because the system said that you cannot possibly be smart enough on your own to make your own choices. You need somebody to make them for you. Mm. And being told that from a child to an adult, it becomes part of who you are to listen to what another motherfucker say over your instincts. Tune in to your higher self. You can't lie to yourself, but everybody in the world, 8.4 billion people can lie to you. Right. But you can't lie to yourself. Ask yourself the answer. It's going to occur to you sometime later, the answer to the question. The reason it occurs to you is because your higher self went and found the answer. Yeah. So when you say, when you see Rod Hayes and you say, I wonder if this nigga telling the truth, right? Now you coming from the position of, I don't know. So when you said, I wonder if you telling the truth, talk to yourself, self-talk. They told you you're crazy for talking to yourself. It's just your lower self talking to your higher self. Go ahead. So you tell your lower self, tell your higher self, hey, I need to know if this nigga right. I need to know if he on the path for the righteous or if he a deceiver. Mm. Right? Then something gonna happen totally different. A motherfucker send you a message out the blue. Hey, you heard that nigga Rod A? That nigga the truth. That's because the answer has to come to you because you sent your higher self to get it. Right? And then when you hear it, you gonna automatically know, oh, this is the answer from my higher self. You don't know why you know it or how you know it. You just know it without knowing it. That's real. And don't let people, when y'all start seeing the truth, don't let a motherfucker talk you out of the truth with, with guilt because they're going to say, oh, look at our people tearing each other down. Look at our people doing this. Understand before any revolt, they killed the niggas that wasn't going to ride before they went and got the oppressor. Because you can't trust them. You can't trust them. They got the people out of the way that needed to be out the way. Now let's go. Now let's rock out. Because we know we're going to lock arms and we're going to ride this bitch out. The proverb is this. Get rid of the enemy within first. And the enemy without can do you no harm. That includes the shadow work first. Because you got an inner enemy in your own self. Go from ahead. your karmic buildup from your family tree having fucked up people in your family. Right? How do you combat that? When you get those urges, that's that old family member mm. telling you, hey, you need to go get you a drink. Well, we don't, I don't want no motherfucking drink. Why do I need to go get a drink? Right? Because <laughs> that energy is on your family tree and they need to be corrected. As soon as you correct them, all your. Hold up, brother. <clears throat> brother, you want. There you yeah, you back in. Yeah. Somebody had called in. Okay. But but as soon as, as, as you correct that in yourself, it corrects it in the family tree. True. Yeah. And, and that's a fact. And as y'all linking up with people, realize everybody, yo. Everybody's not going to have the same beliefs all across the board. Like It's things that me and my brother Rod Hayes may not agree on, not very many. But what we're going to do is we're going to connect together on the shit that we do agree for the sake of correcting things in our community. Because that's our role. Our role is warrior type of roles, and that's the part that we play. 
You feel where I'm coming from? So me and this now, if if the shit that we didn't agree on was corrupt type of shit, then we never would link. Yeah. Because now it's a now it's a us going against our, this is what they call selling your soul. Now it's us going against what we feel is truly right and selling that short for the sake of benefiting um or whatever the case is. But when you and a person both have a certain righteous cause, y'all can link up on shit y'all agree with. And that's why you don't see that's why you come on my channel and you see me linking with certain motherfuckers and not with other ones. And you will see me conflicting with certain people and linking up with certain people. And, 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 and then it gets weird because people are like, he's always coming at somebody. But damn, I'm always collabing with somebody. How? How is this paradox happening? Because obviously the people that we pushing to the side are not righteous people. And they're not in line with agendas that's going to further our people. Right. But so the, the paperwork is the paper chain of slavery. The Emancipation Proclamation didn't free nobody. All it did was instituted a doctrine called meritorious manumission, right? So if you don't know what meritorious manumission is, you won't even realize your trustee status on the plantation, right? Once you understand the trustee status on the plantation, then you realize that Abraham Lincoln ain't free shit. They just changed the conditions of slavery from private ownership to the ownership by the corporation called right. the United States, right? All them contracts is up. The biblical contract was 400 years. The Senate had a Senate motherfucking review on the 400 years telling you the contract was up, right? The secondary contract was the second constitution written in the blood of Crispus Atticus because the righteous of the blood can't be spilt in vain and it was a 200 year contract under George Washington, right? The 200 year contract is also up, July the 4th, 2019. Now, if they telling you, ask them when the contract up. If they don't know when the contract up, they don't know the law of the land. And, and you know what's crazy? <clears throat> they, they didn't want to let go so bad that Mississippi didn't technically even uh, right, uh, signed the signatures on a paperwork for a uh, so called freedom until like 2000 and something. Listen, that's because the paper was a trick to begin with. Go ahead, follow the dolls roll and watch what they did when they separated the, the Seminoles that look like me and you from the brighter skinned Seminoles that they sent on the trail to tears. This is when they instituted the dolls roll. The dolls roll was so that they can put. Asians that was captives to the Etruscans into the position of the indigenous people of the land so they could say, look, y'all supposed to look like that if y'all from this land, but y'all look like y'all from Africa. Don't nobody in Africa look like us. They got this skin tone hair texture. That's it. But the facial structure, the cranial structure is different. The physiology of the people native to this land is different. Our ability to adapt to environments are different from the people from Africa. So when they was telling us this, I became a Pan-Africanist. And guess what all of the Pan-Africanists from Africa told me? The reason you don't get no respect in Africa, nigga, for y'all from over there. Y'all native to that land over there. Pan-Africanists told me this that came from Nigeria, from Senegal, from Somalia, the Sudan, from Ghana, right? I know these people personally, and they are scholars. They Some of them is Muslim imams. Some of them are uh, history teachers. And they when I be, be quizzing them, like, you know, what y'all records over there say? They records don't have no record of a... 200 to 300 million people depopulation agenda. It's just not there. What they do have is Tipper Tia, right? The Arab, who was the biggest slave trader in Northern Africa. Where is he from? Al Maghrib. He was what you call an Etruscan Moor, but he ain't us, right? If you don't know 
when 